Hello, and welcome to this brief overview of early child in Iowa. My name is Tom Rendon, and I serve as the Head Start State Collaboration Office Coordinator at the Iowa Department of Education, and I'm also part of the Governance Planning and Administration Component Group. And that group is gathered uh, today to provide you with this work. So let's get started. First up is Ryan Page. My name is Ryan Page. I am with the Department of Human Services Child Care Bureau. Early Childhood Iowa is much more than a mechanism for funding local areas to do great things for young children and their families. What do you think of when you think of ECI? What is your understanding of the purpose of ECI? Who do you know in your world who is involved in some way or using the resources and how are they involved? What resources, both money and products, of ECI have you used? This depiction reflects different layers when we think about the early childhood system. First and foremost is that we focus on children and families at the core of all work and our vision statement, every child beginning at birth will be healthy and successful. While these will be described more later, I want to briefly share the six system components of the early childhood system. As you learn more information, you may find that you are interested in participating in one or more of these groups. We have the governance component group, results accountability, quality services and programs, public engagement, resources and funding, and professional development. Through the work of these various system components, we are able to achieve desired results, which you will see in yellow, such as secure and nurturing childcare environments, safe and supportive communities, healthy children, school readiness, and family support. Our collaboration partners are on the outside of the circle in green. As you can see, there are a number of professional organizations and individuals, both from private and state agencies, that collaborate together to fulfill the ECI vision and have positive results for kids. Remember, Early Childhood Iowa's vision is that every child beginning at birth will be healthy and successful. This vision was originally created in the year 2000 and many agencies and individuals have adopted it as their vision as well. Hello, my name is Chanel Wagler and I am the administrator for Early Childhood Iowa and a member of this group. Early Childhood Iowa, as defined here, is an initiative to empower individuals and communities to achieve desired results, to improve the quality of life for children, birth through age five, and their families. We'd like to break this down for you and really think about this definition. So I'm going to provide a small definition for each word. Initiative, a procedure to set something in motion. Empower, to give ability. Individual, single or particular person. Community, a social group whose members reside in a specific locality or share government. Achieve, to attain or to accomplish. Desired, selected, being purposeful. Results, desired outcomes. Improve, to bring into a more desirable condition. Quality, nature or characteristic. Life, existence. Now, read that description again of ECI. What are your comments? Why are these terms important to the work of ECI? Why they, are they important to children and their families? Why do we include families? How do we communicate our work and with whom? How do we attain our desired results to improve that quality of life? What are the results we should be seeking? Hi, my name is Carolyn Zeller. I'm with Heartland Area Education Agency. I'm a school social worker and direct service provider to children, families, and educators. The graphic you see here is Tool A. It's a resource on the Early Childhood Iowa website that shows the organizational structure of ECI. There are three main parts under the governor's office and the legislature. They are the state board, the local area boards, and the alliance. In simplistic terms, the state board serves in a leadership role, 
The local area board serves local supports for the promotion of early childhood, and the Alliance serves as an advisory body to the early childhood system. Next, you'll hear more about each park in more detail. This is Chanel again. I'm going to talk just a little bit about the ECI State Board. Um, I serve as the lead staff person for that board. On this slide, you can see both their purpose statement and three products or items that they do and provide. And I'd really like to talk while you read that a little bit about that group. First of all, there are six state agencies, department directors or their designee that serve on the state board. And they are from the departments of education, human rights, human services, public health, Iowa Economic Development Authority, and Iowa Workforce Development. In addition to those six state agencies, we also have 15 citizen members that are appointed by the governor and confirmed by the Senate. The group meets between five and six times per year, and all of their meeting materials are available on the ECI website. Hi, I'm Annette Custer. I serve as a program director for the Early, I oh God. Early Childhood Iowa Area of Buena Vista Crawford and Sac Counties. The purpose of Early Childhood Iowa Area Board is to enable local citizens to lead collaborative efforts involving early care, education, health, and human service programs on behalf of children, families, and other citizens residing in the area. The board has leadership functions and they establish a fiscal agent to distribute the state funds. They follow open meetings and open records law. They develop bylaws for their areas. They establish a budget for the services provided in the area. They write a community plan, and that community plan describes the area, collaboration and coordination, funding sources available in the area, and identifies the desired results and indicators. They also provide contract management and oversight. We provide mid-year reports and an annual report, report to collect data from the contract providers. Hi, I'm Amy Blanchard and I'm an ECI director serving Jasper Mary in Powashee County in Central Iowa. There are 39 ECI areas which cover all 99 counties in Iowa. An ECI area typically has a minimum of 5,000 children under the age of five. A map of the counties follows. Each area board is comprised of volunteers and is served by an ECI director. Boards must maintain representation of the business community, elected officials, consumers of early childhood Iowa services, as well as perspectives from education, faith, health, and human services. The board is citizen-led, ensuring that local needs are brought to the table in each area and funds are distributed according to the local area priorities identified in their community plans. This is Annette again. Early childhood grants focus on enhancing the quality and capacity of childcare. Funding is allocated to area boards based on a formula, which is currently based on the percentage of the monthly statewide family investment program. Annette stole my slide. <laughs> Can we pause? No. <laughs> no. Oh. School ready grants support a comprehensive service for children under the age of five and ensure children are ready to succeed in school. Area boards usually solicit an RFP for the funding and that determines their budget and is based on the area's needs. This map shows the 39 ECI areas that cover the counties. If you check on that Early Childhood Iowa website, you'll see the map under local development. And you can check on that to find your Early Childhood Director and more information about each area. Our work is community driven and work toward the desired state results. Each area may fund different services, so each area may look a little different, <coughs> depending on their identified needs and their community plans. We do reporting, and it's based on statewide performance measures that collects data on the population served and work through programs through inputs, outputs, quality, efficiency, and outcomes to measure the success of the service, product, or activity resulting in data for the Early Childhood Iowa Annual Report. So along with the ECI State Board and the ECI Local Area Boards, 
is the ECI Stakeholder Alliance. Now the ECI Stakeholder Alliance is made up of persons who have some kind of activity within the early childhood community, that they provide some kind of service or oversight or are somehow involved. It's easy to become a member. All we ask is that somebody be involved in one of these services within the state and that they make a commitment to the ECI vision of every child being at beginning at birth being healthy and successful. So the ECI Stakeholder Alliance um, is meant to be a catalyst in the development of Iowa's comprehensive integrated <coughs> early care health and education system. In order for any system to work, it needs to have a place where people can come together and discuss the important issues of integration and comprehensive service provision. So one of the things that it does is to provide oversight and input into the development of, of that system. So they're paying attention to the strategic plan, they're paying attention to the work of the component groups, and they're paying attention to what is going on within the state that affects the lives of young children and their families. The other thing that it does is to provide advice both to the ECI State Board, but as well as, but in addition to that, also to the governor and the General Assembly and other public and private policy bodies. It becomes a gathering place for the community to begin to discuss what services are necessary for young children and how the state working together can provide those services. The ECI Stakeholder Alliance also serves as the State Advisory Council for, uh, for the purposes of meeting the needs of the Head Start Act of 2007 which called for a state advisory uh, council to be created in every state. This is the council that serves that need for the purpose, uh, the Stakeholder Alliance serves that purpose uh, for Iowa. The uh, Alliance meets about four times a year, and, if, and one of the things, and what it does during these meetings is that it provides information about programs, services, initiatives that are going around the state so that everyone has a common knowledge about what's happening. It also provides professional development opportunities. And, and like so much of the information we've talked about, it can, uh, the, a schedule of when and where those meetings take place is available on the ECI website. Most important of all is that you really can't have any system development without relationship development. And the relationship development is what happens at the stakeholder alliance level. So if you're interested in getting involved at a, at a rudimentary level, at a beginning level, engagement in the stake in their ECI Stakeholder Alliance is a great place to get started. My name is Rhonda Verdon Nelson and I'm a community health consultant to the Iowa Department of Public Health. I serve on many of the component groups as well as on the ECI Steering Committee. The ECI Steering Committee works to provide leadership and coordination for all six of the component groups. Essentially, the steering committee guides the work of ECI, ensuring alignment of component group activities with the strategic plan, organizational vision, and guiding principles. Leadership for this committee, like each of the component groups, uses a public-private structure, with one co-chair representing state government and the other representing the private sector. Membership includes individuals representing the fields of early care, education, health, and family support. When necessary, the steering committee has the authority to act on behalf of the Stakeholders Alliance. As Rhonda mentioned, there are six component groups, and I need to introduce myself. I'm Jeff Anderson, the Iowa Department of Management, Early Childhood Iowa Office. As I said, Rhonda introduced uh, the fact that there are six component groups, and these match the little pink boxes you saw on the second slide that Ryan just discussed. Each of these groups is set up to address key, key issues and areas within a successful system to make sure that it is functioning and working on the implementation of specific strategies within the ECI strategic plan to be discussed later. Three of these groups, governance, planning, and administration, resources and funding, results accountability, are more internal to the system and how we are functioning and how well we are achieving the, the goals and the outcomes we are looking for. The other three are more about outreach to programs and to the public, and these are quality services and programs, professional development, and public engagement. Each of these will be discussed in the next six slides in a little more detail. The resources and funding group um, has had periods of high activity throughout the years and, and periods of lower activity, to be honest with you, depending on the economic environment at the time. 
As you'll see that they identify cost and financing structures. They provide stakeholders with, with plans on how to fund and expand things. And they partner with other entities to seek funding. Currently, the group is in a reactivation phase and will focus on creating a new fiscal landscape of the state and federal funds that support services and programs for young, service, for young children and their families. Hi, this is Nancy Kraus, Early Childhood Director with Lutheran Services in Iowa, and I represent family support as a part of this work. I'm going to talk about two of the component groups. The first one, governance, planning, and administration. There are three primary objectives of, the, of that group. First, to design and oversee the implementation of governance, planning, and administrative structures within the early childhood system. Second, develop a plan to create an infrastructure for the smooth functioning of the Early Childhood Iowa Stakeholders Alliance. And the third is to plan and implement activities that support the professional development of the Early Childhood Iowa stakeholders in the area of systems development and cultural competence. Within this component group, there are two subcommittees, the equity and parent engagement. Equity's subcommittee really looks at increasing the diversity of both the workforce and the families within the system. The parent engagement considers the importance of parents providing input and involvement in the creation of the system. Other projects completed by this group includes writing policies and procedures for the Alliance, brainstorming ways to communicate parts about the system. The group promotes leadership opportunities within the system and provides recommendation to the steering committee on a variety of topics. As mentioned earlier, this webinar is another one of the products of that component group. The second component group I'd like to share with you is the public engagement. Again, there are three objectives of that group. Firstly, it partners with community, government, and business entities to foster commitment to the Early Childhood Iowa system. Second, increases advocacy for supportive child and family policies. And third, it supports parents as effective consumers of early childhood services. This group identifies messages that are shared widely with the public about the system. It hosts advocacy trainings for the Alliance members and the field in general. It facilitates the Early Childhood Iowa Day on the Hill and coordinates communication of other public policy related information. As the Alliance has products to share, Public engagement assists with the promotion of that in the system. The next component group we're going to take a look at is results accountability. The role of the results accountability component group is to ensure that Iowa's early care, health, and education system is aligned around a clear set of indicators and is using those indicators to improve outcomes for young children and their families. This group is responsible for collecting data on systems change and ensuring that the data is available to inform Iowa's early childhood system. The Results Accountability Component Group serves as a resource to support positive outcomes for Iowa's youngest children. The next component group is Quality Services and Programs. Quality Services and Programs, or QSP, is responsible for identifying and promoting quality practices within the early childhood system. QSP strives to implement programs that are evidence-based, meaning they've been proven to be effective. The overarching goal of this group is to ensure that services provided to young children and their families meet quality standards and promote the best outcomes possible. The State Child Care Advisory Committee and the Early, Le Early Childhood Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports Leadership Team are both subcommittees of this component group. 
And the final component group we want to talk about and present is the ECI uh, component group for professional development. Any system that wants to ensure children are healthy and successful needs a high quality, highly competent, well compensated workforce. So the system that can promote such a workforce is the work of the ECI professional development component group. So this group is going to be determining PD system, what professional development system is needed. It's going to be looking at the integration of a professional development system with the current initiatives that support high quality services. And it will be advising the system overall about a statewide infrastructure that can systematically support quality professional development. So, as, um, so among the work that this component group has been engaged in in order to do that has been the development or the revision of the Iowa Early Learning Standards, developing career pathways for the workforce training and trainer approval, the identification of competencies and core knowledge that are necessary for a competent workforce. I am Laura Patton and I am the Regional Director of Child Care Resource and Referral of Central Iowa. A great way to learn more about Early Childhood Iowa is to visit their website at earlychildhoodiowa.org. Spend time just checking out the different links. I have found the link at the bottom right side on the home page, Interactive Visual, to be helpful. You will find the organizational chart outlining the different groups and people involved. You can also find the meeting dates on the activities calendar also on the home page. Clicking on ECI initiative in the upper left corner, you will find the current strategic plan. And last, click on local system development and it will give you more information on your local ECI area. Again, just take some time to click around to learn more. This is Chanel. Thanks again to everyone for listening in. Oh, here, sorry. Jeff, I'm sorry, I forgot your slide. Go ahead. Hello, this is Jeff again. Uh, we're not uh, professionals. We are people in the field doing this tape, so I hope you enjoy some of our We'll pause. <laughs> anyway, the current strategic plan was adopted by the ECI State Board and the ECI Stakeholders Alliance in 2015. It was the first all-in-one plan since ECI was formed in legislation. There are three level, high-level goals as you can see in this slide. Each goal has a set of strategies and activities to accomplish the goals by the end of 2018. As you see, the three the three goals focus on having a solid infrastructure, the promotion of high quality services, and building public will for supporting young children and their families. Since the plan was adopted, some significant accomplishments have occurred to date. First of all, within infrastructure, we now have strong cross membership of ECI area directors, stakeholder alliance, and state board members on component groups, the steering committee, and work groups. In terms of public engagement, through a local state public partnership, successful legislation was passed to allow for more flexibility at the local level and the development of a continuous quality improvement approach for designating, uh, designating area boards to continue their work. And around quality services, through collaborative efforts, we received several National Governors Association technical assistance grants to improve the efficiencies of child care nurse consultants and the positive behavior interventions and support consultation services. And also one that works that looks at the workforce in terms of development. We've also through a collaborative process achieved a grant from the University of Pennsylvania to develop a plan for an integrated early childhood data system. There's also been the development of online interactive professional development products, such as the core knowledge of children. And as Tom mentioned earlier, we have an online Early Childhood Career Pathway website that's very usable for folks that want to advance their careers. We also have developed position papers that have been published about articulation for early childhood professionals wanting to expand their education and ideas to improve the child care subsidy program. In the next year, 2018, we will publish and distribute revised learning standards, as Tom mentioned in his slide. We also will be completing a cross-sector needs assessment that will be for the whole state. And lastly, we'll be developing a new strategic plan. Hi, this is Carolyn again, and we'll wrap up this overview with Iowa's vision statement. Every child beginning at birth will be healthy and successful. 
As you consider bringing your skills and experience to the ECI system, think of every child. Think of your child or your grandchild. What does this mean to you? What types of support are needed prior to birth to promote health and success? How about after birth? What does <coughs> healthy look like? What does successful look like? What will you bring to ECI? And finally, how does your job, your agency, and your system impact this vision? Thank you for listening today.